always talks about him. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Next stage is Black uh, Countdown, which uh, is the shortest actual level in the whole fucking game. <clears throat> uh, it's so short, as a matter of fact, that I'm actually going to be posting two videos. And there's Batman. Oh, it looks like Batman hasn't changed into his suit yet. And it was his bat suit, I mean. He's just in his, uh... What, is he going to a gala at, at Gotham City Opera House or some shit? I don't know. I've never seen... I've never seen, uh, Bruce Wayne with guns before. <laughs> Maybe he gave up the whole no-killing thing, huh? Uh, of course I'm just kidding. We're not really Batman. That would be nice. There's a new Batman game coming out uh, this October, I think. Gonna look forward to that. So anyway, even though we can't see shit, all the other guards can see pretty much normally, which means we need to wait for this guy to come over here and take his outfit. I don't know why these guys can see so well in the fog when they couldn't see very well in the corn maze, but hey. But then again, they're not really the agency thugs, are they? They're Dexter's private security team. Let's dump this guy over here. There we go. And, uh, we didn't really hide the body. We put it <laughs> on the street wherever we can see it, but hey. This is crazy. So, there are these, uh, packs of dynamite, or whatever, that we can use to hide. And if we're almost out of instinct, that will help us fill it back up, which is going to be pretty useful getting through this stage without getting into a long, drawn-out firefight. Now we're about halfway through the stage. I know, it's very short, right? Am I the only one doing the math here? And, uh... Damn you guy. You guy. Oh, right. So, it's pretty much a straight shot to Dexter. Um, there are exactly two other, I guess, hidden rooms, you could say, but, uh... There's really almost nothing in them. There's a room to the right with a couple of objects you can throw or use as weapons. And a key card for the room that's on our left, which has some instinct. So, if you're a completionist, then you have to do that. But of course, we're not doing that kind of playthrough, so we don't really have to worry about that. Now, uh, here's the point where if you're playing on purist mode, actually, it was at the very beginning. Um, if you're playing purist mode, things get really difficult because you can't use instinct at all. I mean, there's our target, Dexter. And there's a shitload of bombs there. How are we gonna get through this? Okay. Well, there was a Catholic priest once that we did a similar thing with. So it's not, uh, completely... ...odd. Dexter. And for those of you wondering, no, I've never waited uh, for Dexter to take off. Maybe I should do that, right? We just found her. Ah, what are you waiting for? Put her off. No, sir. She's gone. And I wanted to strangle Dexter, but of course he turned around at the very wrong time, so we're gonna duke it out man to man. Hey ya! Boom! Yeah! Now I'm gonna defile the corpse. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> and that blood is just splattering all over poor Victoria. And that was the end of Countdown. I don't know what they were thinking. I, I think this was probably supposed to come at the end of the last stage, but they figured it was already too long as is. Uh, but they handled it very poorly, so there you go. Next level coming up.